Hi everyone. Uh, in this video, we'll go through the steps uh, necessary to um, find the length of the hypotenuse, uh, provided you uh, already know the angle of this right angle triangle and you also uh, know the adjacent. Those are the two givens you have to have if you're using this particular formula, the adjacent and the uh, angle. So um, we'll work through it here. Um, the formula there, as you can see, is div uh, adjacent divided by cos of the angle. Uh, hit equals and that should be the length then of the hypotenuse on that right angle triangle there so um, we just start into it here um, we'll take a, an example for the adjacent line as being two which is coming into screen there now and uh, we'll pick the angle as being 30 degrees for this example we're going to work through so uh, in this case you'll see animated here you just hit the two button hit your division button hit your cos then type in three zero and then hit equals and your answer should be 2.309. So that's telling you that the length of the hypotenuse there is uh, 2.309. Uh, so um, just um, just a further point here just to make before we leave. Um, the co the cos the, the, the cos cosine relationship between the um, hypotenuse and the adjacent. I'm making the point here that if you go on your calculator there and make sure you're in degree mode, as I said before, type in cost, type in 30, hit equals, your answer will be 0.866. That's telling you that the adjacent is 0.866 times smaller than the hypotenuse. That's the proportional relation between the two of them. And always be regardless of the size of the right angle triangle. So just bear that in mind. Okay, hope that's of use.